what are we doing? We're reading Diego's letter. Yeah, so we were we, we recorded our first video for Diego. Totally <laughs> forgot to talk about his letter and this awesome sticker. And so, in order to have good continuity, we didn't want to uh, start our first video uh, or start our second video with stuff we should have done the first. So, real quickly, here's the part of the letter. Zach and Porter, please accept these cards as a token of my appreciation for your friendship, support, and thank for the gifts I have received. I know they will be well received, but I hope they find, excuse me, they fill holes in the collection. Now, I did not separate Dad's cards from Porter's cards. I will let you guys decide on who gets the rights to each card. Yeah, so, <laughs> I can't believe we're doing it this way. Porter had the idea. We'll edit it in. So, we, we just didn't want to start this series without uh, doing that. Why don't we show that when we yeah. do your video? Hold on. Okay. We'll do that when we show your video okay. because it talks about one of the pieces yeah. of memorabilia. So, just act like we were never here and enjoy the video. Hey, Hobby World. Zach and Porter back with another Mail Day video. Thank you to Diego over at Sports Cards Detour. Now, here's the deal. Uh, for those of you that are maybe new to our channel or don't know the origin, um, I was watching YouTube videos for quite some time. It really started with Bo over at One Million Cubs and Hobby Evolution. But there are a few other channels that inspired us. Bear Cards 34, Top 85 401, and our guy, Diego. Diego. Uh, I was watching his videos. I think Porter binged on his uh, card room <laughs> uh, videos. <laughs> I mean, his, his video uh, watches went up tenfold. Uh, for about a week or so and I, we just you know we've gotten to know Diego as a friend we'll, we'll text here and there um, and he is just just a great guy in the hobby and we love his content so definitely check it out uh, he's a big time uh, Steelers fan he's a big time Phillies, Phillies. fan Ryan Sandberg uh, but he does a lot of really cool th things too on his channel where he does front and back cards and he he does some ripping and he and he shows a lot of variety um, and so we are very grateful that he hit us back with a rack and, uh, we're going to do two videos. This one is going to be a little bit more about the old man. But one thing I do want to tease when we talk about Porter's, he sent a piece of golf memorabilia that is, uh, fantastic. Uh -huh. And we will show that in the next video. So today, again, a little bit more geared towards the uh, old man's PC. So we're going to start with the coach, Mike Ditka, got a mosaic there. Uh, and then we did not have this, which I was surprised. A 1991 Steve McMichael Mongo. So that was fantastic. Uh, then some great guys from that uh, Super Bowl team that lost. But Lance Briggs, always like that design. And then this is our first ever Matt Forte rookie card. So really happy to grab that. Uh, then fitting our Bears PC and announcer PC, we got Greg Olson. Kind of looks younger there. Uh, and then the 2008 score. Man, we should have never gotten rid of him. Then for the Robin Ventura PC, a couple of new ones. Uh, great Gamers from Tops. I think that's from the uh, Tops Finest set. And then this is cool, Tops Tech. That is acetate right Check there. Check that out. And there were like a thousand different versions <laughs> of this card. I'm not kidding. So if you see on the back, it says Pattern 71. Can I get a focus there? On I the see bottom, it. Right? Okay, so when I was adding that to Trading Card Database, I, I, I'm not kidding. Maybe there were about 150 to 200 different patterns. So talk about <laughs> overproduction. Then we got one of these uh, Upper Deck SPs, and this was the die cut, as you can see. We did not have that. Uh, then a Barry Sanders Prism. Love that card. Then, Ken, or excuse me, Bo Jackson. To me, it looked like Ken. Yeah. So we got a Bo Jackson, and that's a Tetley, which I believe is a tea company. Tea? Uh, we, yep, we needed that. We did not have that. Every we, single company <clears throat> was putting out cards back then. Bowman's Best. Got Albert Bell. Then another Frank that we needed for the PC. That is one of those Dominators. And then this is a cool set. There's a bunch of... The, the fronts look the same, but they have a different number on it to represent all of Big Frank's home runs. Uh, and so those all are considered unique, and they're numbered out of uh, 150. And I mentioned this in a previous video. We're sitting at 927 for the unique Frank Thomas cards. Here's another new one uh, for Auburn. And he just had his, uh, I don't want to say retire. He had a, a statue put up at uh, at Auburn. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. Got, uh, what is that? Mosaic. Mosaic. Then uh, we've talked about a couple of these documentaries recently. Facing Nolan. So great Nolan Ryan Fleer Greats card. Then we get 1984 Tops. Reggie Jackson, highly Mr. recommend. October. Yeah, and then more of the that Bears um, 
design that I love. We've got Devin Hester here, one of my all-time favorite bears. A guy that was a, a, a good wide receivable, a receiver during that time frame, rookie card of Earl Bennett. Uh, Tommy Harris, he did have some injuries, but man, he was a beast when he was on his game. Then we have a 1992 Leaf Gold. This was a variation that they had. I think it was one per pack. Then a Allen and Ginter Field Generals for our guy Pudge Fisk. And then we've talked about this a couple of times. In Donruss, there are always these variations of whether the player has their helmet off or not. So here is the two Barry Sanders. On the left is the one when he was playing. On the right is the one where he had his helmet off. Those are cool variations in my opinion. And with that year, because it was 2021, I'm pretty sure it was 2021, they had a lot of variations not just with their helmets off, but with what? Masks. That's right, yeah. And our friend Jenny Miller, she collects those. Uh, always like this card, Bo Jackson Heisman Hero from 1991 Pro Set. Uh, then some really special cards here to round it out. Five more to go. We got a uh, Top's Finest Sterling, uh, Big Frank. And then that one is the Silver Prism. You can see mm -hmm. the, hopefully you can get the shine on there. Then two awesome 1998, I believe it's, yeah, 98 Pinnacle. We've got these mint collection cards. So Rick Mirror and Eric Kramer. So not only, so we find these cards once in a while in the dime boxes, but they don't have the coins, and both of these actually have the coins in them. So these are fantastic and just treasures. Although part of our Bears quarterback drought <laughs> that we've been on, uh, Eric Kramer and Rick Mir were both uh, both part of that. And then I just still can't believe that that Diego sent this card. Uh, I Diego, I don't know what to say. So I, I have we we have one copy of this, and now we have two. So technically Porter has one, and I have one, and. Uh, it's an absolute treasure. 1988 tops, Bo Jackson. Rookie card. I still, it's it's just, I can't thank you enough, Diego. That is fantastic. Um, obviously, that's a card that uh, both Porter and I will have forever. So, and we'll always be thinking of you uh, when we see it. So, it was just so awesome and a huge surprise when we got that, including uh, all of these other great cards. So, that's part one of two. Thanking our guy Diego over at Sports Cards Detour. Definitely give him a sub and check him out. One of our channel inspirations. Uh, and then we'll be dropping the next video in a couple of days here. I want to thank you all for watching and subscribing. Bye-bye.